Dr. Magnifico from Jerry's Full Vet and Pobbly.com. This is Gracie. Gracie is about six years old. She's what we call a dilute calico. She came in today for seizures. So I have never met her before. I have never met the owners. She's an indoor cat. She's an only cat. And they noticed about a couple weeks ago that she had fleas. So I'm gonna start parting her hair and you can see them kind of crawling around because they are running for cover as soon as we part the hair. Um, she's got scabs. Most fleas live at the base of the tail. Um, I saw them running around, so when we get a good one, we'll take a picture of it. But really, when you put your fingers on her, she is gritty, she is scabby, she's got a very poor hair coat, and she, um, she is covered in fleas. So we'll show you her belly. Maybe that will help. I mean, just scabs everywhere and then fleas. The best way for us to, to find fleas is we take a flea comb and you run the comb down them. And if you find little flecks of what looks like black pepper or you find live fleas, that means you've got fleas. So they noticed that she had fleas about four weeks ago. They put an over-the-counter topical product on her and then the seizures, what they're calling seizures, started. So I don't really know if this is the product. She is not vaccinated. She's not current on rabies. Seizures are um, a central nervous system disorder, so I cannot rule out rabies. So we had to have a whole long discussion about rabies, which is why I beg and plead people, even if your cat's indoor, even if they never go outside, you have to keep them vaccinated for rabies. It's state and federal law, and it's a public health risk. So please just keep them vaccinated. It makes it a whole lot easier to address conversations when I'm not talking about rabies, and I don't have to give them instructions which are if your cat dies we need to send it to the health department to rule out rabies you cannot bury it you cannot put it in a freezer it needs to be sent off for that that's a discussion i never want to have but when i get someone having seizures or having a neurologic condition and they're not up to date on rabies we have to have that discussion i suspect that her issue is she's got fleas to the point where she is so itchy and so scratchy and so infected and so unhappy that she's got what we call feline hyperesthesia complex which is not easy to say anyway, and then really hard when you have braces. <laughs> um, but she literally, every time she's had a seizure, it's been after she's gone after her skin, so most of the time they're chewing, biting at the base of their tail. She goes after it so ferociously that she sort of throws herself into this, what looks like a seizure, and then she goes running off. So typically, now I'm, now I'm itchy, typically a cat with seizures has a pre-ictal, an ictal, and a post-ictal period, and I have a lot of that on my blog. So they have some indication that they're about to go into a seizure. They usually look drunk or disoriented. Um, sometimes they're stumbling, and then they fall over and they paddle, and then they have a while to recover. She, on the other hand, has looked like she gets really uncomfortable. She attacks her back end, and then she kind of looks like she gets stiff and rigid, and then she goes running. So she doesn't really fit the seizure profile. Seizures in cats are, are pretty rare, and they're also very difficult to treat. It's not like idiopathic epilepsy in dogs, which is more common and easier to treat. But I suspect all of this is related to her fleas. So for today, she's gonna get an exam. We're gonna do some blood work just to make sure that her electrolytes and her calcium and her sugar is all normal. I'm going to give her an injection of a steroid because she's so unhappy. I'm going to give her an injection of an antibiotic that lasts about two weeks. She's going to go home with a vet-approved, non-seizure inducing um, topical. So I'm probably going to use Revolution on her. And then she's going to come back in two weeks. She's going to stay on Revolution monthly for the next six months so that we kill all of the life cycle of her fleas. And then we're going to follow up. Her mom is also going to keep a journal at home. I want to know like in detail kind of what she does when she does it and see if it's always associated with her skin. The skin I can get under control pretty quickly. The fleas we can get under control pretty quickly. She'll come back in a couple weeks and we'll update her rabies and then we'll follow up. But I, I presume that she's one of those cats and I see a lot of cats who get um, seizure-like things because there's something in their environment. So if you've got a cat who's looking like seizures, Think about fleas, think about stress, think about anxiety, think about topicals, no powders, no diffusers, no stuff in your house, because some of these guys are very sensitive with that. If you have any questions, you can find me here at Jared's Full Vet or anytime at Polly.com. Thanks to Gracie and her family for letting me share this story. Take care, bye.